Hello and welcome on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adini Aji Shafe. We just have to look around the world of sport. It's always juicy and we have to talk about it on 360 Sport, giving much attention to Nigerian sport. Now we'll be starting from a very wonderful one. Nigerians are really doing it when it comes to athletics. We'll be picking up with uh, S.A. Brume. S.A. Brume was able to do well in our, uh, the long jump competition that Shackley competed in over there in Bern, Switzerland, as she was able to jump 6.93 meters. Uh, her season best to win gold at CTOS meeting that took place in Switzerland, that is, in, uh, it was in Bern that actually took place, and she did well there. Congrats to this Nigerian who did well by winning this particular long jump. We really want to appreciate the fact that she has not relented on her effort to do uh, well, even though she could not manage it up when she was at Mauritius, the uh, African Athletic Championship. But she turned things around as she moved to Switzerland, where so she was able to win that particular competition. 6.93 of season best, and right now the lady is really smiling. So glory, we have to appreciate this Nigeria. A lot of them are really doing it when it comes to athletics, and that's why that story is really trending. Joining me to talk sport this morning is Joel Ajayi. Good to have you. Good morning. And uh, at least we are starting from the home scene. Another Nigeria just did well. She could not do that while she was at Mauritius uh, for the African Athletic Championship. But right now, she actually built and I said, okay, I can still do more. And here we are talking about S.A. Brume as she jumped 6.93 high. That's a good one. Very good one. Mm. And then, first and foremost, let me just uh, <clears throat> congratulate uh, the Nigeria S.A. Brume for uh, winning gold in that particular uh, competition. But for me, I think uh, it's going to be the affairs of uh, MEDA for us mm. when the uh, Commonwealth Games will eventually kick off in uh, this uh, July and uh, August. Because uh, from the look of things and everything that's involved around Nigeria athletes, you could see that most of them are participating in a pre-event before that particular uh, Commonwealth game. And then that has maybe in one way or the other improved them. If you look at it, the one we, we played in the tournament at uh, uh, Mauritius. Mauritius, she was unable to do this. But when she looked at herself, she talked to herself, if I could not make it there, I could okay. make it in this Somewhere particular else. competition. And then mm -hmm. that's why you are seeing uh, he, her coming up with, with gold with, with that particular uh, record. So for me, it's going to be a face of murder if we put everything in order the way we are doing it. We want our athletes to be winning murder because that is the pride of the, of the nation. If you went to a particular competition and then you are unable to get anything, it means uh, the preparation is nothing to write home about. But with this, mm -hmm. uh, if you look at this one, uh, Amusa is also doing well. So we have some of the athletes that are also doing well on their own way too. So if we have one or two, three, four competition before uh, this kind of a uh, tournament that is coming, you, it will help the athletes to improve on their lapses. Mm. You look at where I made the mistake in the previous and one, you on and it. then you build on it, and then you, you, you try as much as possible to get the result for yourself and for the country. Because before we call uh, Nigeria, the name they call is, is a Brume. So mm. I think it's a very good one for the uh, younger, and then we wish him more of it. Well, which we, we actually wish her all the we best have. for what she has done so far. And looking at what Nigerians did at the com uh, competition that took place in Mauritius, at least uh, right now, that is propelling them to do better. We were able to win five gold medals there. The likes of Enekwechi was there. Olatwe also did well. Not forgetting Tobi Amusho and the four by 100 meter relay women who did us proud in that competition. Right now, Essie Brimet jumped uh, high. Well, looking at the fact that she was able to uh, jump 6.93 meters, she's seen best so far. All the jumps she has made this year, these are it's actually be our best and we celebrate this Nigeria. A lot of them are really doing wonderfully well. Right now, we talk about uh, moving away from athletics now. Let's talk about uh, basketball in the, uh, in the country. Well, this time around, just yesterday, Mark the Ball Super 8 actually started at the MKR Biola Stadium where eight teams participated. Well, they are participating in this competition to show who wins this uh, competition for this season. Well, for the men. The women was done last time, but now the men are really competing and they are showing class. The likes of Mohit, not forgetting, because all of them are participating. Candle Pillars, they are showing their class. Quara Falcons, all of them are trying to see who will win in this uh, uh, Super 8. It's been a big, big one 
one among all the clubs participating in this uh, uh, competition. Now we have the result. Let's look at the result of the uh, Magdeball Men's Basketball Super 8, where Nigerian Customs defeated Delta Force of Asaba 70 to 66. Four points ahead. We actually won by four scores there. You have Gumbi Bulls. Uh, they actually went bullish against Quara Falcons of Ilorin, 60 against 51. Mohit, the team that have really done so well this season, they've won almost 100% uh, win and they have 79 against uh, FCT Hard Rockers, actually scored 52. Hosko Ballers Abuja, 63, and they defeated Kano Pillars, 57. It was a result that a lot of people did not expect. Looking at the fact that Kano Pillars, one of the giants when it comes to basketball in Nigeria, <laughs> the, way, <laughs> the way things are really going this season, what's happening for Kano Pillars? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm impressed, and then I, I don't think I will, I will miss any day of this uh, tournament. I think by noon, we will start the game at uh, uh, Monsieur Dabiola. Uh, basketball indoor hall in, uh, inside the group project. But if you look at the game from the day one, which is which was here yesterday, you will discover that this is a battle to finish. Mm. And then you cannot just uh, write, uh, write off any team. Because if you look at the first game between the custom and uh, the uh, data, mm. you will discover that it was a, 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 a game that everybody needs to watch. Because... Uh, the data came with their force. Try as much as possible to, 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 to put the head of the custom down. But along the line, that is when the experience and all this technicality can't. Because they were leading with the, uh, the first set, second set. set, set, second set second but all set. of a sudden, the custom turned things, high, uh, things around. So for me, this competition is one of the, one of the games that I love so much. And then the... In the past four or five years, we have been having issues. I think with this kind of competition, that, that is why I said it when I came here the other time. Let us replicate this kind of game in all the parts of the country. Mm -hmm. That is when you'll be able to discover more athletes. I bet it with you, if we can do that game very well, this mark the ball that is going, we can get at least good 11 players. Let's say we are doing it in Ibadan, or let's say we are doing it in Asaba too. We get another 11 player. In another state, we get another 11 player. We bring them together. It means we have a pool of players where we can pick the best among those guys. And then they are doing really well. Even today, we are going to experience a, a whole lot of uh, surprise. Because yesterday, nobody will know that a Canopilla we lose will against lose to, against, ball, against, uh, So ball. for me, I think uh, it is the restorations of basketball in the country, and then which I, we, I, I want to appeal to all the stakeholders, let us just uh, leave whatever thing that uh, we are pursuing. Let us just bring all our hands, let, let it be on this. Let us try as much as possible to build this basketball because it's our joy, it's our pride to see our own um, Nigeria doing well. In the, in the continent, even in the whole world. Uh, aside the continent, and we've been looking at uh, basketball there. Mark the ball has been at least ongoing. Started yesterday like a joke. What the shocking what was the fact that Kano Pillars lost against uh, Hot Cool of Abuja? No one saw that coming because you look at Kano Pillars, the way they are in football, uh, one of the giants in, in Nigerian football, they, that's the way they are also in basketball. But they lost, well, uh, shockingly yesterday, their first game in the Super 8 for the Mark Ball championship at, over there in Abuja, uh, right there in Abuja, but it was not an expected result. Well, that's uh, sports, you know, you never can just tell at times you expect a team to win and they will just lose. Good one for all the teams that won, and for the team that, those teams that actually lost, well, losing is not the end. You can still play at least up your game in the remaining games that will be coming up in the Mark the Ball Championship. It will be ending probably on Sunday, okay. and that will be a nice one there. Uh, we've been talking concerning Nigerians who are into the sport of basketball and they are happy despite the ban on international basketball home-wise we are still doing well locally we are enjoying some dunk and slam sport of basketball now let's move away from basketball let's go to the round leather game well it's the season of fa cup state ito fa cup some games were played yesterday our well, finals finalists are at least playing who knows now a lot of uh, our clubs are also playing as we speak but right now we have some result to determine the winner from each state well in katsina a good one for katsina united against junior katsina it ended 2-1 so the two teams will still represent the state there uh, they 
ITO Corp nationally. Bende Insurance, defeated Bende Insurance Junior, uh, they are now 2 0. Although you have uh, FRSC, uh, they lost uh, against uh, Nasarawa United. EFCC 2, Melentucky Care, uh, they lost that game 2 1. And you have Bayelsa United 4, Dreams Football Academy 1, Sunshine Stars 2. Akure City Academy 1, Junior Pillars, they lost against Kano Pillars by a long goal. Well, the two still represent. And Edo Queens, well loved Brave Heart Lady, 7 0. Why Nigeria Tell of Abuja also did well by defeating Jyoti Sports Queens, 9 uh, nil there. Good one for all the, the, the teams actually did well. Even though we have the winners, we have the loser, but the two teams who still represent their state in the uh, state. Uh, the National ITO Cup that will be coming up later. Well, but for now, we have some results coming there. Good one. At least, uh, finally, uh, we're beginning to see no more uh, qualifier now. It's just the finals coming up. Some will be coming up today and some will be coming up tomorrow. I think this is a very good one for us. Uh, and then that shows that uh, we are, at least we are taking a step forward in, in the nation because uh, the game that happened between the EFCC and then that of uh, Milantaki yesterday in FCT is one of the games that uh, someone need not to miss, but at least because of the nature of the job of many, they might not be able to, to, to watch it. But the cost of uh, Trust TV, 360, 360 Sports, you'll be able to get all these things. So for me, I think it's a very good result for most of the, uh, the, the, the winner. And then the, 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 the I cannot call them the loser yes. because you you might go yeah, to but the, somebody will you might go, the trophy yes I, I agree if with you. You see some graphics. I now, agree with you. You see the <laughs> graphics of the the, 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 the state <laughs> FA. You yeah. see some teams actually uh, carrying the trophy. So I, somebody has picked the trophy from the state. From, from the state. But they qualify. I agree with you. But don't don't forget <laughs> that you might even go to that uh, national and, and, the, and the person that uh, carried the, the trophy state. today. Uh, we will we just be eliminated in even in the first game of mm. the of, of, of the competition. So for me, I I think we are moving forward, and then the, the only thing we need as a as a nation is that we want to appeal to us stakeholder. If you have a little change, if God has blessed you, if uh, you have reached there. Just try as much as possible to encourage this young one. That is when you and Nigeria are going to have it better. Mm -hmm. Because when the youth are engaged, there is no how you will call them to go and do something that is no good that they will, they, 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 they will listen to you. Let's take a look at this picture, these yeah. graphics, and you can imagine all these guys are played. This is Nasarawa United. Yeah. Uh, they won their own game against FRSC, uh, mm -hmm. Nasarawa. Uh, imagine if these guys are not uh, uh, being uh, occupied by football. That is that no, is where been, that is where I was going. Understand. That is where I was going. And then with even with your little talking, with your little support, you might not be bringing in in, in in form of cash. But if you have some idea that you can sell to all this club that can make all our youth to be to to be active in whatever thing they they are doing, I believe he is going to be a good one for 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 the nation. And then the issue of uh, insecurity, issue of uh, unemployment will be drastically reduced. If you look at the MPF, and uh, we have some some club that are pay, paying more than hundred thousand, more than two hundred thousand, more than three hundred thousand for for a player. Come to think of it, the sister we hit from the money, the relative we hit from the money, and then they will move on. They will even go ahead to get something better if they know what they are doing. I think my appeal will goes to all Nigeria. It's not about money. If even your support alone can even go a long way mm. to help this uh, young one in the country. I'm still looking at that result. Uh, you look at the fact that uh, for the women, Edo Queens seven nil against Brave Hearts ladies. Uh, despite the fact that they were brave, they tried, but they considered seven goals. And Jyoti Sports Queen nine nil. Nigeria Tell were really angry, uh, trying to look at what happened when they played the, <laughs> the Super Eight, and they came on to the yeah. Super Six rather. They yeah. came to this and they showed their class nine nil, uh, teaching them. To play football, and you look at Bende Insurance, uh, that the main uh, team uh, winning the junior team, Bende Insurance Junior, although the JO was not put there, so they won 2 0 against uh, that team. Good one for that team. Uh, those teams are played, all the teams are quite qualified. They'll be playing at the national level of the ITO Cup, the FA Cup, the oldest league in Nigeria. When it comes to talking about uh, uh, football, you just have to look at it because this is what uh, almost every team wants to participate in the FA Cup. Well, we are waiting to see who will scoop it this year. <laughs> and it has started, the battle has actually begun. And for Kano Pillars, beating Junior Pillars by a long goal, that shows Junior Pillars were really up uh, to the uh, main team. Sunshine Stars against Akure City Academy 2 1. 
by Elsa United. You remember last season what they did by scooping it. <laughs> now wow. they actually they've started again 4 1 against Dream Football That's Academy, right. EFCC. I guess they were really looking for money against my life. So it ended there. Well, good one. At least looking at those results. More of this will be coming up today. Gombe, Gombe will be playing their match today. today. And it will be a big one to see those uh, teams participating in the FA Cup. Uh, I, I think uh, I, I will start from Nigeria Tell and mm -hmm. uh, Jotty Sport uh, Queen. If, if you look at what I just, uh, the appeal I just made now, it's because someone is working somewhere. Mm. That is why you are seeing this result. Before in FCT, we don't have a club like a Nigeria. We have uh, FCT, Queen, and all these things. But because of uh, one thing or the other, we are unable to have it. But this singular stakeholder, this stakeholder just came and said, let me just uh, put a smile team. on the faces of this young one. Basically, this, uh, this Nigeria, they, base, they, they, they just focus on the women because we know that they are volatile. Because if something touches their hearts, they can easily carry it away. That is why this kind of person is try as much as possible to put the morning on ground for this one, and then see the result they are getting now. Yeah. If not because of the rules that affected them at the Super Seas, I don't think they will play badly in that particular uh, tournament. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I see it as uh, what you can do to build your nation, to build your country. Because if you want to build your nation, you must build the human resources. Those people that are occupy the nation before you can say, let me just try as much as possible to build this nation. If you look at the, the seven, seven zero <laughs> encounter, you know, you can only find all this kind of uh, result in the women mm. because their game is, uh, is interesting, very interesting. Very interesting. Yes. If you cannot get it right from the beginning like this, the winner will just be scoring more goals and, and be, then you'll be you'll just, you'll just get, be getting weaker. So mm. that is the format or patterns of the uh, women, women football. Women, uh, football. So for me, I think it's a good one, but I won't wait to to know the the, the new champion for this uh, for this uh, here to in, in, in this year. Uh, for this year, it's <laughs> going to be a big one because the ITO Cup is I coming up, and the race has actually begun across states. Is the new wave now blowing across Nigeria, that is his state, and even in the FCT, they are fighting for who will represent each state at the national ITO Cup. Well, the states are, are right now beginning to pile up all the results, and we just brought to you there uh, for you. To have the, a feel of what is happening across Nigeria, where Kano State, we have the result there, Nasarawa, all along, even down to Ondo State, Sunshine Stars will be playing alongside Akure Football Academy. They will all be playing at the National ITO Cup for this year. Let's wait and see. Just that by Osa United. Let's see if they are the defending champion. Can they continue to win? Way to see ITO Cup there. Well, a lot of uh, transfer story here and there running around. We just have to look at the fact that when it comes to coaching, a man has done well for himself when he was with Toliyama All Sport, but right now he has parted way with PSG. It has been confirmed that PSG are no longer with Pochettino. Mauricio Pochettino. It's done. Oh, the news has been coming here and there for almost three <laughs> weeks, one month and there about. But now it has been confirmed that they parted ways with Mauricio Pochettino, the Argentine, just have to go. Someone mentioned that maybe, if I know, he will have moved to Manchester United uh, when they wanted him. See, as for me, mm. as for me, I can, I can tag this man as a winner. Mm. To be sincere with herself. He won the league. Yes, he won the league. It's not even about the league. Mm. It's about the, the kind of... The, their, their eye is fixed on the championship. The problem is the management of PSG itself. Mm. Because the mandate is that we are tired of winning the league. Just give us Champions, Champions league. league. And then they were knocked out by the Real Madrid in the round of uh, uh, 16. And then they could not get the, 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 the agreement. So I think they need to look at someone else that can give them that one. You know that for past like three seasons, you have been seeing PSG at the corridor of Champions League, but they are unable to lay their hand on it. So, so close. So, so close. Against so close. Yeah. Uh, so for me, this coach might not be able to give them what they want. Because... Okay. What if they are not patient enough? Maybe they should have been patient with him. The truth of the matter is that when we are talking about patient, you, you look at every factor that's are, that involve around that particular situation. Mm. Because we have so many big players in that particular cl uh, uh, club. And then it will be very difficult for a coach like Pochettino 
to, 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 to manage, manage. Okay. all those stars they parted. So for me, they need to look at the coach that have this kind, that strong head that can... I need to be sincere with you. I need to be sincere with you. When this guy was in Tottenham or Sport, he did very well. He was able to beat almost all the big, big, big four with the Tottenham Hotspur. So, and then since he came to that particular uh, club 18 months ago, he was, he was not doing bad as a coach. But the mandate, the problem is that give me Champions League. Mm -hmm. And then you are unable to give me the Champions League. You have to uh, at least give way for someone that can give it to me. And then now they were th thinking towards uh, uh, Sidin, their own, their own son of the soil. If they, could, can, they can get it. This guy was a player. He went to Real Madrid. He won uh, the Champions League back to back to back. So maybe they are thinking that if we could get this guy, he can give us what we are looking for. And then, bet I, I can tell you the truth. This coach is not surplus as you are seeing it mm. because he's very intelligent. This Argentine coach is very intelligent. Before you know, you will see other Clubs big clubs that will come for him because he's not uh, someone that is uh, that doesn't have it upset. Mm. So for me, let him just uh, uh, accept it with faith. Because everything is all about uh, 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 adaptation and accept as acceptance. So let him just accept it with faith. And then, be it as it may, he can get a better club that we even do better. Let's see what will be happening to Pochettino passing away with uh, PSG. It's no longer business as usual as they are looking for who will take over. Zinedine Zidane might be the one. We're waiting to see who they'll be appointing as a new manager. Talking about the French champions, PSG there. And now we look at another Frenchman. This time around, <laughs> a French story. Popova Vabale is going to Juventus. has been agreed that he will be moving. Well, I actually saw a particular news that says that well, he wants to prove Man United wrong for offering him a, a small amount of money. Well, now he's going back to where he came from, Juventus, and he was, he's ready to move on the tra free transfer. A lot of uh, Man United fans are actually <laughs> uh, <laughs> expressing <laughs> happiness. I, I don't know why they are happy uh, that he's leaving. I, I think I, I have to lend my voice to those people that are expressing their... They are very their, happy. They are very Suppose happy they are, hey, finally, to, to join I them in this kind of uh, celebration. Because, why? see, to be sincere with ourselves, Paul Pogba happened to be one of the best players in the whole world. Mm. But when you did not improve on yourself, look at the like of Messi, the like of Ronaldo. They have been playing, they have been in the system for almost 10 years consecutively. That's why you see Messi won it seven times, this one won it five, five times. Five time. But for me, Pogba, one, is too sluggish. He plays a lot with ball on the field of play. And then, uh, Premiership does not need that kind of player. He might even go back to Ju Juventus and shine. Don't, don't, if, if, if you remember, he was... So that Donny Alex Ferguson, because of this same attitude, he was he, he liked to to display. But it is when you have you have you are winning as a team that, that is when you saw the skill. That is when people will clap for you. Even but you are losing. English you Premier League does not even allow all I'm those. I'm telling you, you are losing. You are romancing with the ball in the <laughs> in the field of play. It's not good for oh for, for, for a club that is looking for a result. For me, it's a mm. good one for him. He might go back to where he, he, he and, was and coming shine, from like and shine. Said. And then we will have the, the, the man you itself will have a better replacement for him. We, we have it. And then I believe the coach that is coming will be able to think outside the box and get someone that can even give the ball. And better then you, than better, than, better than him. He's a good player. There is no doubt about it. He's but talented. He's talented. He's not but so. every, anything you are doing too much in life mm. is not something that... Even water, they say water is life. If you drink it too much, it's a problem. So when you are romancing with the ball in the field of play too much, it's a problem for the club and then for the entire team. So for me, it's a good one for him. We wish him well, and then we wish to meet him. We, we meet, meet uh, Juventus whenever the Champions League. <laughs> From or, the way you are speaking, <laughs> I guess, you are a Manchester United <laughs> fan. Seriously, wait. Well, don't United fan, actually, we have this right now. Sign of relief for, that, uh, for the fans that Pogba uh, is going. Well, good one. Let's just, uh, just have to look at the fact that a very talented player but he's not having it all for Manchester United. They need a, somebody that is more serious and more committed if he really wants to play in that club. But right now, uh, Eric Ten Hag will do a wonderful job by looking for a good replacement, although they can do that. Manchester United, one of the best teams in the world, they deserve better. Good one now, we have to go. Well, sport is always business and fitness, as we always say. Joel Ajayi has been here. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Good morning once again. Thank Good one. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.